Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial and this time we're going to be taking a closer look at selecting photos, culling images, choosing your final photos, whatever you want to call it. But I want to share with you my process of selecting photos and this will maybe give you some new techniques and new ideas of things that you can do the next time you're selecting images. I think the original folder of raw files had about a thousand images in it and now we are left with 506 one star photos. I left out the section of one starring photos because it's a very kind of simple process. I basically go through every single image that I shot one by one and give one star to all the images that are in focus that have a good connection with the model and that just generally look good overall. So I don't put too much thought into this step. It's kind of like a very quick thing to start getting rid of all the bad and untechnical photos that I took in the day. So I'm going to start the next batch of selecting photos and in this step I'm going to go through and give two stars to all the similar looking photos. So in this case um, all the mid-length photos that I took of our model I'm going to give two stars for now. So when you're selecting images, you don't want to have like five very similar looking photos that were all shot at the same length, the same location and with the same outfit. So this is why we're selecting all the photos that look similar and then picking our favorite like two or three photos from that batch. So this is a really, really fun shoot that I did back when I was in Sydney. I had the model is Shannon from Vivian's Model Management and she's actually currently in London doing some amazing things right now but she was so so much fun to work with. She moved really well and we got so many photos that I was happy with on the day. So I thought this would be a good video to share my selection process just because there were so many good photos and it was kind of hard for me to select the final images. We also had Lydia doing hair and makeup and she did an amazing job as well. We did like this cool golden eyeliner um, about halfway through the day, which I really, really loved. And I also had Dan come along in this shoot too. And we've released the final fashion film from this shoot. And coming up really soon, I have a behind the scenes of this shoot too. And I'm really excited to show this to you guys. <laughs> So after this first step of selecting all the similar photos and just picking out our favorite few photos from that batch, we are left with a total of 197 photos. So we've made a really, really big dent in our selection process so far. So we started with 500 and we're left with almost 200 photos now. So I actually have two folders. Um, one is called Deselects and the other folder is called Select. So as I'm choosing which photos I don't want to edit, I'm actually moving them into the deselects folder to get them out of the way. And we are only left with all the final photos that we're saying yes to. So this makes the process of selecting easier and easier as you go. Now onto the next part of the culling process. Here we have all our new one star images. And again, I'm going to go through them one by one, comparing similar photos and only keeping one or two from a set by moving the rest directly into deselects. I think it's super important if you have like a few photos that look very, very similar, such as um, if the model's sitting down in a particular position or if you have a bunch of close-ups. In order to have a really strong final set of images, I feel like it's very important to just pick one. And in order to do this, you kind of need to flick back and forth through the images. Um, just comparing them and giving yourself like a split second to look at each of them and seeing which one captures you more. And, you know, if a photo like really stands out compared to another one, then you know that's the one that will go into your final selection. So now we have a total of 118 images that I'm going to import into Lightroom. For me, importing into Lightroom is an important part of the selecting process because sometimes you'll see a raw image and instantly know it's going to be a final image. And yet there are some other photos that may or may not work with the series until you edit them. So you don't know until you've changed the exposure or until you've applied a preset to it, or maybe the photo needs to be in black and white and then it would really capture you. So I really like to import my photos into Lightroom and I guess kind of see, get a feel for what they'll look like as a final series of images. So I edited all these photos with the wedding collection from Digital Film Actions, which is where I share my Lightroom presets with you guys. 
And I'm actually super excited to let you guys know that I have a new series of short videos coming soon where I show you one click editing with my Lightroom presets. And I think the first one's gonna go up on Monday. So please keep an eye out for that because I'm really excited to share that with you. So now that we have all our edited photos, I'm going to make a new folder called blog post. And here I drag only what I believe are going to be the final, final images for the series. So in this folder is where I will reorder my photos and it's this order that I use to upload my series on my blog. And I like to do this because it helps me choose photos that tell a story and it shows me how many photos I have of like close ups and how many photos I have that are full body. And it just makes me make sure that I have like a really good variety of images that kind of tell a story. Um, and just work really, really well together. I also make sure to include a few extra photos in this folder just for the modeling agency. So even if I might not use them in my blog, um, I want some really clear, beautiful photos that really shows what the model looks like. So in the end run, I ended up with 38 final photos and you can see them all on my blog, which I linked in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this taught you something about my process and maybe gave you some ideas for next time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.